Welcome back. I'm Emily at Emily's Podcast, Tribute to All Little Angels. This is another part with a new episode. But first, I have an announcement. We are wanting to let you know that you will find a donate button now showing on RSS public website to assist with attorney fees and travel costs to help get this matter resolved. We appreciate any donation and funding to assist us with our endeavor. Thank you so much, and we appreciate all of you. And now, on to the story. Part 7, Episode 2, January 29, 2023. This afternoon, I went to the cemetery. It's cold today, but tomorrow and the next day is going to be colder. I will drive through at least and take a look. And all seems good here, thank God. After I left the cemetery, I went by the store before going home. The rest of this day, I spent time for myself and I relaxed. January 30th, 2023. This morning, it is so cold. I know what I will be doing. I'm going to stay in and write. In my free time outside of the cemetery case and the podcast, I write stories. I've written one book so far, and I plan to do another and another. Everyone have a great day. January 31st, 2023. I'd like to skip right over this day and do as I did yesterday. And as I relaxed this evening, a thought came to mind. So I got paper and pen to count how many years of each incident at the cemetery. As I wrote down the year of when Megan passed and went to be my angel, April 1999, Wyatt passed in 2007. This is eight years in between. So as I wrote the year of the flood, 2007 to 2015, this is also eight years. Then as I thought about it, this year, 2023, is the eighth year. Wow, is my thought. And now I'm very hopeful it will be resolved this year. At 10.38 p.m., before I went to bed, another thought came to mind. I even chuckled about it. They thought I was just a blue eyes, brown hair, dumbass. Although I may not be the smartest, but a dumbass, I am not. February 1st, 2023. Today we start parts and episode of questions and answers. We have so many questions and my sister Susie asked me to share them, in which I will. And as I go, I will share some of the questions and answers now also to remind everyone. And of course, the number one question has been asked quite a bit over the years. Number one question, what made you take the pictures over the years? This question is played over and over in my mind since 1999. I have even thought the same thing myself. And my answer is always the same. I find peace in it. And I would say, you never know what a picture will capture. And then to think, is this the reason? Then I'm asked, what made them say they cut down a tree where there was no tree in that area? And I answer, to make people believe the headstones have not moved, which to me is odd. If we couldn't force them to move the headstones back. I am also asked why I went to the cemetery daily. My answer, when I realized the attorney was not going to file the emergency injunction, he asked us to notarize 
if the city did start to dig in the cemetery to fix the drain system. I did go to the cemetery two, three times a day and took pictures of their daily work. I felt I needed to keep an even closer eye on everything going on. And another question is, why isn't the state representatives looking into this? My answer is, I'm not too sure they aren't or they are. But if they aren't, they need to be. And why is the city telling people no one else is complaining or has complained? My response is, I know I have complained. I know Shauna and her mother has complained. I know the elderly couple that I talked to at the cemetery has because they knew of the city saying they cut down a tree, which they did not. I was also asked, do you have letters in response to your letters you wrote to the governor, senators, and representatives? I answer, yes, I do. And the letters in response were not, not any of them was a discouraging letter. Their response would be of what I need to do next. I am told to keep putting it out there. This next question is in part of, did the woman from the funeral home call you back the morning of November 27, 2019 when you called her that morning? My answer is no. There was no communication from Nancy until my daughter Nicole and I went into the funeral home the Monday morning after Thanksgiving to talk to her about running DNA tests on the remains. That's when she informed us they already did the cremation the next morning before she got to work, yet failed to call us. And this question, if there was no laws of this kind of matter in the state of Oklahoma, what or how did the attorney pursue this case based on what law or laws? And, well, my answer is, I would love to hear an answer to this question also. And maybe one day out of the goodness of his heart, he will share that answer with all of us. As the answer to Nancy at the funeral home, when someone sends an email to a business of this kind, I am told everyone sees the email. And yet, they still cremated the remains. And Nancy did tell us she saw the email, but then she didn't call to stop it. And now I understand the big rush of signing the papers to get all of this taken care of. Wow, some people are so cold. February 3rd, 2023. On this day, I'm thankful my eyes are open. These kind of days after I do a podcast, I need to relax. February 5th, 2023. The blue sky woke me up this morning. I'm getting more and more questions, so I will have more to share. At 3.41 p.m., I went to the cemetery. I visit with Wyatt, then with Megan. I took two pictures of full view, and the other two are half view pictures. Then I notice Megan's flowers are no longer here, and I will put Valentine flowers for her and Wyatt out soon. I tell my angels I love them, and I leave the cemetery. When I get home, I review the pictures, and you already know what I'm thinking and will do. I will compare these few pictures to pictures from 2000 to 2008. February 7th, 2023. Thank you for this day. That's all. February 9th, 2023. A new day, 
another piece of proof to match up to a purchase made in 1999. My sister Susie and I talked today. We talked of what we are doing, what we can and will do. Then we talked of the casket we purchased for Megan in 1999. And Susie looks up what a combo vault and casket looks like, which I have done the same thing early on in this case when my daughter Nicole mentioned Megan was buried in a vault combo casket. And yes, nowadays, the design on the caskets are different. I'm sure it is on each casket. But when Susie sent me the screenshot picture of the caskets nowadays, I started to cry. Megan's casket and the picture Susie sent me matches up to the one Megan is buried in, not the casket they pulled out of the ground. They are so wrong. February 8, 2023. Good morning. As I start my day, I have a lot to be grateful for. There is another episode done of the questions and answers. I did go to the cemetery to visit Wyatt and then Megan, and I did not have my phone this time to take pictures, but it has no changes, except now there are flowers put in Wyatt's face and in the ground for Megan, and I pray the flowers stay. February 10th, 2023. Everyone have a good day. February 12th, 2023. Man, some mornings are so tough, but I know I'm getting stronger because now I can wake up and if I feel a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach, I lay here and pray. I talk to God about it. My morning seems to be better. And at 1.50 p.m., I'm at the cemetery. I pull up to Megan first. I want to see if her flowers are still here. They are. So I'm happy for that. Then I drove back to visit Wyatt. I did take a couple pictures. And then I drove back by Megan's area. As I'm pulling up, I took a few more pictures of her area. And then a short time later, I left the cemetery and went home. February 14th, 2023. Of course, I went to the cemetery this afternoon. The skies are clear and the temperature is near 60. So it's a pretty nice day. I checked to make sure Megan's flowers are here and to wish her and Wyatt a happy Valentine. I left each one of them a red heart sucker with the white cupid in the center of them. I took a few pictures and left the cemetery. When I arrived home, I sat down to write an episode of questions and answers for next week. Just trying to stay ahead of it. February 17, 2023. Good morning to all. Thank you, God. Thank you, my angels. The skies seem clear, but the air is cold. I stayed in and wrote today. And at this time, there is not much going on with the cemetery case. I do do a new episode every week. And I work on writings for my books, trying to stay busy. February 18, 2023. Thank you for this day. Guide me, watch and protect over me, us, all of us. And thank you for the knowledge. February 20th, 2023. This morning, I decide to go to the cemetery. I did clean and watch TV before going. But at 4.40 p.m., I visit with Wyatt. I cleaned around his headstone and talked with him. A little while later, I pull up to Megan's area. I did park out of the view of the area. Her flowers are still here. I took pictures, and I also took a full view picture of the area. The next couple days, the weather is in the 60s, clear skies, 
so I am going to find a spot in nature and write notes. Just more chapters for my books. February 23, 2023. Thank you, God, for waking me up. Thank you for the past two days. And on this day, there is another episode ready, and I feel good about it. At times, it does get emotional. And at times, I can hear back the emotion in my voice. And that is what makes me cry. I pray one day it will be over. Over as in resolved. Fix it. February 26, 2023. There's a haze in the sky. We are expecting drizzle rain today. I'm sure it will be a cold rain. Before the rain starts, I went to the cemetery. I visit with Wyatt, and as I pull up to Megan's area, I start taking pictures. There's a bear spot in the grass, still here after burying someone months ago. It seems as though the bear spot will start growing grass over it, then it looks as though it's dirt again. It shows in pictures. Megan's flowers are still here, thank God. I also took a picture of the area where the north tree stood at one time. And I can vision the tree where it stood. And yes, that is the correct location. And that also shows in pictures. March 1st, 2023. Good morning. Thank you, God, for opening my eyes. I visit the cemetery this afternoon. I visit Wyatt a short time, and then I went to visit Megan. I took a few pictures and left the cemetery. When I returned home, I have the episode recorded, and it will air this evening. I hope as every time a new episode goes out, that someone hears it. Hears it as in to help. Help to get it resolved. March 2nd, 2023. This is a good day to stay in and start spring cleaning. I am cleaning out closets. I do have donations for a thrift store or a Goodwill. And we all know it is when, when you start a little project, it seems to go on and off all day. But I am getting it done. Have a good day. March 4th, 2023. Thank you. The skies are clear. I will go to the cemetery today. So at 2.22 p.m., I went to visit Wyatt. I sat with him for a little bit, having a dumb dumb sucker with him. I also left him one. Then I went to visit Megan. At Megan's area, I have to stand or sit on someone else's headstone. I will not do that. I ate a same flavored stucker I left for her with her. I took pictures of her area. Then I left the cemetery. March 5th, 2023. Looks like a nice day. Near 70 today. I'm getting outside. Everyone have a nice day. Enjoy. March 6th, 2023. Thank you, my angels. Thank you, dear God. My eyes are open. Today I'm working on another episode for the podcast. And on these kind of days, I'm emotional. I get emotional, but I have to do it. I am doing it, and I will continue to do it. I've got to for Megan and the rest of them, and especially for God. He brought this to me for a reason. And I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to do it as he sees and leads me to do. March 8th, 2023. I'm looking at today as a new day, full of new opportunities, and maybe a new person will intervene and help get this baby's voices heard. Remember, they don't have one. I did go to the cemetery. I went back to visit Wyatt. And I know some people might say or think, this lady goes to the cemetery a lot. Well, yes, I do. 
I do now because of the cemetery discrepancies. I have to keep an eye on things after they lied about cutting down a tree. And then, of course, the other little things. But believe me, I have visited this cemetery from 1999 to sit with Megan, to lay by Megan, visit with her, share a chocolate bar with her, have lunch with her. And then in 2007, I became to have two reasons to spend even more time with my angels. It finds me peace of mind. Megan's flowers are gone, so I will bring her more. The more they remove them, the more I bring out here. But that's just me. And one more thing. Your thoughts, your words, truth of actions is what matters. March 9th, 2023. Good morning. Today is expecting drizzle rain. This entry will be short. I'm staying in to write. March 11th, 2023. Waking up knowing it's a special day. Clear skies, 72 degrees. I will enjoy my birthday driving around the lake, taking a walk in nature, and taking pictures. I take pictures of anything. A tree, a squirrel, a red cardinal, the clouds, and even things in a shape of a heart. This is for a new idea of a book. I will enjoy my day. You all enjoy your day. March 12th, 2023. Gloomy looking day. Not as warm as yesterday, but I will go to the cemetery. At 1.47 p.m. I pull into the cemetery. I went to visit Wyatt, then with Megan. As I pull up, I took a full view picture of her area and then a picture of half view, a close up of the Babyland 6th West sign east of the tree. Yes, the same sign in the same place since 2000. Then the next picture is a picture from the electrical pole past the tree. And you can clearly see the double headstones are smack dab in the center of this tree. When in older pictures, the double headstones sat between the north tree and the south tree. They've added the black and white baby land sign, and it does. It all lines up. From the new small drain they set in when they worked on fixing the drains, to the tree where Megan was laid to rest in 1999, to further west lays a new headstone they sat in, all in the matter of days. Then in the fourth picture, it's a picture of the electrical pole showing south where Megan's headstone and others were washed down to. The fifth picture is from the electrical pole to the area where the north tree sat. And as I look at this picture, if this tree, the existing tree, is the north tree, the herd headstone is not in front of this tree. It is to the north now, which this is the headstone that used to sit on the north side of the east-west street corner, but is now on the south corner of the east-west street. Then the next picture is of the tree to where the north tree should be. So many headstones out of place. It's so sad. And now, let me ask, would you have questions? Thank you for listening. Stay kind with your words.